Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awaken to Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm so excited. My good friend Marlena Johnson is back with us today. And today we're going to be talking about cosmic connection and, of course, so much more. So what's stopping you from really having an amazing, magical journey? What area in your life is out of positive flow right now? Is it your finances, your health, relationships? And are you sick and tired of this? Oh, it's like we were just talking about this <laughs> before, before we went live. So we're going to be talking about getting you connected to the sacred cosmic frequency, the infinite unlimited source. When you are cosmic, when you, and when you are cosmically connected, you are suddenly more powerful. You know, you get a sense of personal power. You can easily wash away negative energy or bad luck in all its forms and start, start again with a clean slate. We can eliminate struggle, fear, competition, worry, and, and anxiety. You can get the courage to embrace new challenges and explore your limitless potential. You'll be empowered with a unique set of positive spiritual tools today. We're going to awaken your consciousness and stake your claim to who you truly are and what you desire. And we're going to tap into a whole new reality where the universe just may blow your mind with all the blessings it pours on you. So that's you know, I'm like excited because yeah, at this time right now, we could definitely use more blessing, right? So for those of you who don't know Marlena, she is a, a really good friend. She's been on our show many, many times. She actually started off as a client, you know, as, a, as, as somebody li listening to these, these telesummits. And, um, you know, and here she is now uh, on several, several telesummits. So she's self-taught. She's internationally known. She's a master manifester, an abundant life coach, a motivational speaker, a light worker, an intuitive energy healer, and a clairvoyant angel channeler, and so much more. So um, like I said, today we, we are so excited to have her back on the show with us. And, you know, at this time, you know, my, my deepest intention and desire is to support you in being the best version of you living your greatest life possible. And so um, Marlene is here with us to assist with that and to support you today. And um, so let's, ta let's start talking about the cosmic connection, what that means and how we can use that or work with that to support us. Marlene, welcome. Wow, this is just a beautiful day. Um, you know, we were talking about April 1st. So, mm -hmm. you know, April is, um, Wow, the energy of April is going to be a little tough. I just want everyone to know. Um, but I believe we'll probably have about uh, this month and a little bit of next month of this quarantine. Mm -hmm. Okay, we already went through that amount of time already, so we can handle anything. We are powerful, um, and we're just going to get through it. Okay, so just don't lose your patience, people. Keep creative, okay? Um, but today, what we're going to... Be talking about as many issues okay and it's cosmically connected to what we're going through um, a couple months ago I was downloaded with this you know vision of a big what I'm going to call it is a motherboard where um, we used to see maybe on TV where an operator phone operator would be plugging in your call and mm -hmm. then she'd pull out okay well that's kind of like the vision I saw but the thing was humongous and I'm looking at it and I see you know, lights going on and off, and some plugs are in, some are out, some were frayed, and they were still plugged in, you know? Right. I'm like, what is all that? And um, then it got explained to me. I'm like, oh, I get it now. So as, as I was working with clients, I'm like, let me try this, you know, what I was experiencing. And the downloads were coming to create this. And it's, so perfect for what we're going through right now and what we're going to go through for you know this rest of the year i was like amazing but um how we are connected vibrationally emotionally um spiritually um on all different vibrations okay as individuals some of us are plugged into our ancestors problem mm -hmm. right or our dad or our mom that kind of thing, or, you know, exes. And there's some that are afraid. So you go to get your um, blessing, we'll say, something you wanted to manifest, and it starts to come, and it's like it can't get all the way through because the connection isn't strong enough. So you have a belief in the way um, or some entity or something's in the way. I'm like, oh. So 
<clears throat> I went in working with the clients and one recently, to me, this is a miracle. Um, I didn't even know she had epilepsy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I knew about her family issues. So we were dealing with the family issues going all the way back, um, disconnecting all that and connecting her in to, you know, a higher frequency in many areas and levels. And in two weeks, I get an email saying, this is incredible. <laughs> I was healed of epilepsy. I'm saying, where'd that come from? You never told me you even had that. All I was hearing was how the, you know, husband and her were not getting along. The family was, you know, getting involved and the kids were acting up and they were going to get a divorce and that kind of stuff. And I worked on that with her mm -hmm. and unplugged the ancestral stuff, plugged her into her own, got her empowered, you know, put her back in her body and all these different things. And you know, she was using the packages and all of a sudden she's like, I was healed of epilepsy. And then she said, now my husband and I are getting along like better than ever. The kids have calmed down. The family's leaving us alone. I said, see, <laughs> so <clears throat> sometimes your issue <laughs> that you don't mention is mm -hmm. taken care of. Right. When we get rid of whatever we were connected into, so she might have had like somebody in her, you know, lineage that had epilepsy and she was plugged into that, <laughs> but she was more concerned about what was happening in her marriage. Hmm. But right. I say the cosmic connector himself up there <laughs> said, let's see, we got to unplug that and plug you in here and you're made well. And I was like, whoa. So to me, that's a miracle. And I'm looking at this virus as well and a lot of it is um planetary you know as i dove deeper into that and so <clears throat> there are certain you know um people that are more inclined to it sickness illness things like that so this year is going to be pretty pretty um rough up down up down up down okay so we're going to hear in mid-April, you know, there's a low in it, okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, probably around the 22nd in that area because of the planets doing a shift. They just shifted today. Um, what a day to do it, right? April 1st. And so um, we are dealing with the worst planet would be Pluto. And I know they said it's not a planet, but... I think it's getting revenge on us and saying, yes, I am. And I'll show you Pluto comes in to bring in devastation, death, you know, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> right now we have Saturn coming in, you know, it, it's just not fun. We got like five planets that are all, one is saying, move it. The other one's saying, no, I'm going slow. So that's why this virus is staying so long mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's spreading. Right. Um, yeah, and what I was really studying, um, yeah, the past couple of weeks, because I set my house up, <clears throat> you know, every um, year for feng shui and every month, okay, I really pay attention to this, and so I was like, oh, what's going on with 2020, and I looked into it, I said, oh, something bad from the east. We're going to have, you know, negative stars come in every year and, and move around every month. We get different ones. I'm like, oh, wonderful. So <clears throat> in the east is China, mm -hmm. right? And the year <clears throat> numerology 2020 adds up to a four, which is control. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can see the control. Okay. Everybody's under control right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then the planets come in and play around and um, our energy, our vibration, our thought patterns have a lot to do with this, keeping it here too. So if you can laugh, laugh, okay. Turn off that news and all that. But okay. So let me explain a little bit in the house, our houses, every single house is affected by this big time this year, because what happened was the number seven star 
came into the center, okay, the center of your homes. That energy in the center of your house branches out. So everybody's affected. So the east, the south, the, the north, and the center this mm -hmm. whole year, okay? So if you can spend more time, seriously, in the other areas of your house, you, you'll feel better. You'll so, you know, so what, prosper. So what, what does that mean exactly? I don't so know what in, in feng shui, okay, you have like the bagua, you know, nine areas of the house. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the center, very important. Okay, so, all right, the north of our home uh, is usually uh, water, you know, okay. considered water. Yeah. And the south, the south would be fire usually. But for this year, it kind of does a switch. Okay, so now, please listen to the recording, people, <laughs> after this, seriously, and take notes. Um, right. The north is usually a water energy. It um, will flow, like your finances will flow, you know, unless you mm -hmm. block it off with clutter, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So then it will stop it up and you'll say, I can't make any money, but I'll come over your house and there's all shoes thrown all over, you know, it, it, that's why, one of the reasons. Okay, so that's usually blue, water, colors, things like that, uh, fish tanks, you know, usually. Mm -hmm. um, and then the south would be fire for your fame, fortune. So if you have a business or you want to be a movie star, that would be the area that you would usually put some you know, pyramids or lights and, um, you know, fire red, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now this year we have to switch it. Okay. Because yeah. of this afflicting stars. Um, so up in the North area, we'll now have red. Okay. So whatever's in your South, bring it to the North, the North stuff, put some of it in the South, right? And water, salt water cures, you know, not the north though, because we don't want too much water energy right now with this afflicting star coming on. Um, the south, you want to put salt, salt water cure, round metal. So if you don't have um, something round, you know what's good? A dog bowl, silver, <laughs> Alara, <laughs> and um, other people on the call. I, I don't have a dog anymore, but I got two brand new dog bowls the other day i'm like dollar store just for this or a, a regular round pan right right a weight guys lift weights south okay this will tone down this coronavirus hmm. in your house all right east let's deal with the east which is usually our health section anyway okay there's a negative star coming that way so we want to remove all fire energy, nothing red, no pyramids. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it easy. Salt water cure, silver, you know, metal, metal, silver items. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, some people have Chinese trinkets, you know, I, I just don't want to pay all that anyway, but East is going to have a salt water cure. Okay. South. Okay. No fire in the east or the south right or <laughs> you're going to have some you know worse afflictions you'll feel sudden you know arthritis kicking on and pain and you can't get rid of it. it's irritating um now the let me see it was um north south east so it's north south east and the center of your home locate the center of your house your space mm -hmm. all right we want to add, um, where was I? Salt water cure. And if you have a metal bell, um, stuff like that. Um, yeah, blue and add blue. Okay. So it could be blue vase, a blue, whatever, mm -hmm. something yeah. nice. Okay. Now for the West, which is the lungs, the teeth. All right. Green leafy plants. Very simple. All right, so you want to find out as quick as you can which direction, you know, north, south, and east are in your house. Mm -hmm. 
All right. The center, we can all figure that out by just looking at your space pretty much. Yeah, all right. exactly. And you, you, don't know, want, compasses you don't want fire. You don't want fire in the center. Yeah, I was just going to say compasses have great, I mean, iPhones or phones have great compass apps, you know, to, to help you oh, with that. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah. And then just the west, um, you know, green leafy plants. Make mm -hmm. it clean. Clean the corners, okay, of every room. But <clears throat> those are the afflictions. So I wanted to share that because I want everybody to be healthy. Yeah. All right. Awesome. And Good. also our finances, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, you want your house clean, um, decluttered. We have nothing better to do, right? Uh, you know, put stuff aside for Goodwill and Salvation Army and the poor, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we don't need all this stuff. We don't have that hoarder mentality, you know? Yeah. Like buy everything up um, because then it's like, we are taking away from other people that also might need that item. And there's more than enough of everything to go around. Mm -hmm. So when you're, you know, light workers and high vibrational people like we all are, we don't need to jump into that. So we're going to unplug from that. Awesome. Good. Basically. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And the, you know, fear, you know, fear is a big thing going on right now. I can be sitting right here. And I can feel, you know, it's less today because I moved it away before the call, but I can feel the fear just in the atmosphere outside, you know, mm -hmm. away from me. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> but, I'm not getting caught up in it. It's like, you know, this no, I, don't even, I don't turn it on. I don't want to, um, you know, people will tell you what's going on, but what happened last night I had um, a call and a lady was on and she called about her son and said, I'm really concerned about him. And I said, well, you know, um, where is he? She said, Idaho. I said, all right. So as she was talking, I was doing some clearing mm -hmm. and then I told her what to do. Do you know that when I went to check the weather today, last night, Idaho had an earthquake. Oh, wow. Not one person was hurt. No damage at all. Wow, that's amazing. the intention. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the intention of what each one of us can do by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> awesome. So, wow, right? Don't buy into the fear. If you want to um, set an intention for something, this is a time to do it because your mind can focus on that. Exactly. Right? So, I know I just wanted to share really quickly with everybody too that you're going to be doing some, um, some clearings um, today on the call um and so i forgot to mention you know that if you do have a question for marlena you can raise your hand or you can type your question in the chat okay um just so i know i know we're going to do some 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 clearing some questions something to do with the virus and the you know trauma healing from the virus etc right yeah, I'm got, I have a process um, later awesome. um, Good. that we're going to do. And at the same time as it's running, it is going to be um, boosting up our immune system, yeah. clearing fear. And we all need that right now, the immune system. Mm -hmm. Because when you get any stress at all, ever, okay, good, bad, it don't matter what it is, it affects your body. Okay. For sure. So adrenaline rushes when you're happy too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and when you get scared, which everybody got afraid, you know, when this first happened, you know, um, and with all the stuff they said to us and now we're locked in and, you know, that's having an effect on our bodies and, you know, our immune system. So we want to boost it back up. So that's, you know, I sat down and I created it um, like three or four nights ago and said, this is what you want me to do. Yes. So I'm, I'm receiving all the downloads, what to do and ready to um, assist everyone. Cause awesome. you know, I don't keep things to myself very well. <laughs> I'm good. So, good. Then that way we all benefit. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll only keep a secret. Like somebody will say, you know, don't tell anybody this. I said, tell them what I forgot. 
Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> so let me know when you're ready to take some questions. We do have some hands raised and we do have, Don has posted a question in the chat a while ago. So just let me know whenever you're ready to take some questions. Yeah, um, we, you know, we can do that because that's why we're here, Alaire. We're here to, you know, all be one family mm -hmm. and share in each other's, you know, good times and not so good times and assist each other. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so Don, do you want to ask your question? I think I see that you're also on the phone. So do you want to unmute yourself and you can ask your question or do you want me to read it out? All right, I, I'll go ahead and unmute you. Hello? No, I can't. Okay, you can unmute yourself. Um, there. There you go. Yeah, Hi. Me? Yeah, we can Hi. hear you now. Hi. Um, I had a question kind of too about um, <clears throat> generally where the markets are going to go and how much more it's going to drop during this. And then also my personal, I've, I've got some IRS stuff I'm trying to clear up and I wanted to see if you had any insight. They're supposed to answer me in May, but we haven't, um, with all this, I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to slow down or whether they're going to give me a, a positive answer or what I need to be clearing or, feng shui around that and then also the markets yeah um first of all the fear the worry we can hear that um concern <clears throat> okay in you um will slow down a manifestation and it's real hard to unplug from it right now right so um the first thing is i really i'm not a financial strategist out there doing the socks but what I hear, anyway, is the stocks, of course, are going up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, and I believe somewhere right, probably <clears throat> in February. Next February sounds strange, right? It's, it's not a long time. A year flies by. Um, but in about February, the financial stuff will calm down. Because when this virus is over, a lot of people are all still going to be trying to straighten things out, you know, because um, they had to change jobs and things like that during this whole cycle. Um, stocks, people panicked and sold out or whatever when it went down. And the wise people become rich during all these kind of things, right? So what is the best thing to buy? Anything electronic, right? <clears throat> gold is going way up again because you know when the crisis hit down gold went people that had some money could have bought into it but the thing now if you're into stocks um basically you want to buy into the digital world because that's where we're heading right now right and all of us right now are talking through a digital device we make transactions through you know, your phone now, <laughs> you know, so everything in the future seems to be heading that way. Um, two, with IRS, I saw something on TV where they're clearing people's um, bills. I don't, I forget what it's called, but I would Google search that if you have to, if you owe money to IRS and you're trying to straighten out that, I guess this one company has been helping people with that. And so if they owe like, I don't know, $10,000, they end up paying um, maybe a thousand. So that might help you, Don. Um, you know, so in your personal life now, are you still working? No, I'm, I'm disabled and I've got a, this offer with the IRS is, all, you know, kind of regarding my disability and I can't really go back and do anything else. I'd like to work on the part-time, um, but I can't do anything. And while this is being, um, yeah, in I the, in, it's in the works and it's so in limbo and I would really like mm. to get it cleared with them. Um, and I'd like the, you know, I'd like to get it as soon as I can. So right. I can so right now, on. do you, you have an income coming in? Yes. On disability. Okay. disability. okay, great. So <clears throat> now like, um, hmm. Yeah, how's your stomach? Um, 
not great, but some, you know, it seems like it gets some acid at night. It fills up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm drawn to your stomach area. So um, believe it or not, um, <laughs> uh, I saw an athlete and his friend told him to take a teaspoon of vinegar. And the guy's like, uh-uh. Well, as soon as he did it, his acid went away. It sounds weird that you're giving acid acid, but what's happening is when you feel acid reflux or something like that, your body is down, it's too low on acid. It sounds really weird, but it's backwards stuff. Um, but a lot of that is stress. So before bed, you don't just wanna get in bed and try to lay down. Okay, you wanna, before bed, you wanna do something that's really exciting creative okay so do you like to paint draw make things you know with your hands um you know do something like that if you like to write start writing a book um in the meantime while you're waiting see um in limbo we'll call it like you did um start working on your future plan as soon as this clears i can do this boom and it's already done, so you don't have to work on it then. It's being done now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So whatever that project is that you're good at and you're ready to bring it to the world, you know, get it so as soon as they call you or write to you and say it's all taken care of, thank you very much, press the button, out to the world goes your thing you're ready to share with everybody and make an income. Right? Sounds good? Yep. Mm. <clears throat> so on your stomach right now. Um, Is there anything I need to do like feng shui or clearing to get that, to help that along? Is you Are you seeing anything? Well, what I just shared um, with everybody, that would help everybody on this call. The only area this year without any conflict is um, the northwest corner. I would create a round um, money bowl. Um, you can write in there, you know, some kind of beautiful little note and um, something, you know, um, that is personal for you, what you want to manifest. Um, and then put in gold coins you know, things like that, that just make it wealthy. You know, some people will use citrine and things like that, crystals. <clears throat> so in that corner, which happens to be the breadwinner's corner in every house, the Northwest. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so then I sleep in that room instead of the Southwest room? Well, this year, you know, either one, I mean, the, the Northwest is, um, depending on how you feel in that room, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. the Southwest is okay this year, pretty much too. But, you know, there's a little energy now and then coming through that area. So that's why I'm saying, okay. But when we do the work together, um, either through the package or a session, then you could really work with this for a personal thing because it's hard to do on a call like this because there's so much it would take like four hours <laughs> and i don't want to do that because there's so many people here with questions but for you personally just like um work on a positive attitude all right do not eat greasy foods when you're stressed out whatsoever no hamburgers no french fries that kind of stuff you know um, lemon water, ginger tea. I'm hearing a lot about ginger tea now. Chamomile tea before bed would calm you down. And cramps and pain like that, peppermint tea for people. Um, I like the idea of the, mon of the money bowl for Dawn. I think that'll be helpful. Yeah. And then, um, you know, your husband too. Mm. <laughs> and check to make sure your fish tank, Alara, is not in the north. Yeah, we can't move it. So wherever it is, it is. 
<laughs> if it's in the north, I will um, add some red to the glass part of it. Okay, I'll take a look at Sticker. it after. <laughs> Stickers, I don't care. Red, yeah. you know, red hearts, whatever. Red food only for these fish, but mm -hmm. yeah, because <clears throat> we don't want to aggravate the argumental star. <laughs> right, yes, absolutely. So, Don, does that help? Yes, definitely. Awesome, good, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Stay, stay on the line because we're going to, you know, be talking to a lot of people and it will help everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, so I have Destiny with her hand raised. Destiny, I'm going to go ahead and unmute your audio. Well, that's all I can do anyway. Unmute. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hello. Yay. Hey, Hi. guys, how are you doing? Good. How Hi, are you? Oh, Lara. Hi, Marlene. Uh, um, oh. not so good. I What's figured going on? out why I, I figured out why. I feel like I'm under constant attack and it's because my aunt, remember I've had issues with my aunt mm -hmm. doing the black magic for a long time. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not just her, it's her and her daughter. Her and her daughter are doing it. Mm -hmm. So I am under constant and it's on the left side of my body. There's like, I'm feeling this like all along my neck and the left side of my head. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been like, Standing in it, it's like my mental body. So they're actually <clears throat> doing something with my mental body all along the left side of my neck and head. Okay, so well, then you stand do for destiny. Yeah. So <clears throat> with the <laughs> with their um, projection, evil projection, evil eye. <laughs> um, evil wishes don't know why are they jealous you know whatever do you have that is so wonderful you have an awesome destiny you see mm -mm -mm. so you know jealousy very powerful okay when people are jealous of you and you know what they do is they have a conversation right and they talk bad about you when they're really jealous of you um so sometimes when you are an empath and sensitive you feel they're a pain in the neck female no. left side right and yeah. this is not mine okay it is your new speech for yourself this is not mine whose pain is this because it ain't mine my body and i reject this pain and i am telling you pain to go out of my body and go back where you came from. And you know, if it's witchcraft or something like that, call in the angels, okay? Archangel Michael, Metatron, Mother Mary, awesome, powerful being, okay? Jesus, whoever you, you know, call upon. Take this out of me right now. I refuse to, you know, accommodate this in my body, right? Then we go and we do, you know, the healing which is a deep healing, all right? Is and there, that is can there be done. Something, is there an emotion? Well, is there first an emotion of all, or you, something? First of all, you have is fear of these women. Within? I don't know why. Like they have some kind of power over you, um, which is, which is normal when you, when you have that, you know? Um, so the thing is now, you can get um, your power back by getting back into your attitude of this is not mine. I am not going to accept this. They don't have any power over me. They can try witchcraft all they want, but it ain't working on me. It bounces right back on them. Okay. But now you also got to remember to forgive them. Okay so that you can get rid of this thing. So there's a little bit of work to be done there. And um, you feel it more at night? I'm feeling it pretty, pretty steadfast all throughout the day because now there's two of them doing it. Mm -hmm. So like all the time. Yeah, but why? Because I am the chosen one, and my aunt used to be, 
and she got something, something's possessed her. So mm -hmm. now the ancestors have chosen me and they know it. Yeah. So they're trying to stop me from actually coming into my power so that I can have the gifts. You already have the gifts. Well, I, I know, but they're blocking gifts. Okay, so see, your belief is that they have power over you and that they can control your destiny. Right? Uh, you see what I'm saying, hon? Um, so it's a it's a mental blockage that anybody yeah, has. Yeah, they're over. using my mental body. Right. They're using my mental mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. And your emotions and your beliefs all kick into this. So <clears throat> if it's possible for you, we can have a session because I don't want anybody on this call being afflicted. Yeah. Okay. But and, right now, yeah. right now, just know who you are nobody i don't care who you are except for you know maybe god above has any power to do anything to us whatsoever unless we allow them to all right and i had a man myself he was like playing two different beings he would say i'm a priest but he wasn't right <clears throat> and then he would try to do um stuff and i put a stop to it and I don't want to say what happened to him, but that's okay. I mean, this is the thing. When you know who you are, you are a child of light, right? That evil will backfire, okay? And whatever your destiny is, whatever your dash is, you will live that out. Nobody can stop you except you. <laughs> Unless, why, like, unless you think that they can. Right. And that's what I mean. Except you and I, like I could stop myself, you know, yeah. by doing things from fear. Fear is bad. You know, it, it stops everybody from taking a chance, doing it now. Um, not worrying about what they say, if they disown you or whatever. I'm done with all that. I don't care if you like me or not. I, I have to do what is best for me. Just like destiny is going to do it no matter what they're trying, because what they're trying is like, you know, this little, um, we'll just say it's a rock and she's behind the rock. And on the other side is her, you know, thing she would rather do or that she's supposed to do. So a rock comes in and it's there and it's saying, you can go and stare at the rock and say, I can't get through, I can't get through. How am I gonna get through? Panic, fear worry and stay, be stagnant and give up. Or you can go, wait a minute, I can climb over this rock, I can go around the rock. So you have to make a choice to go around it. So is there some sort of clearing that you can do for destiny and anybody <clears throat> else who may be perceiving obstacles in their way? Yeah, we're when we do the process later, it's gonna clear all, a lot of that junk out and the fear. <clears throat> because fear is the biggest blockage to all of our lives, right? It 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 just is. It stops everybody in their tracks. Mm -hmm. um, so it, so it destiny, would, stay on the call and wait for the process, okay? Yeah, I don't want to start dealing with entities, demons, that kind of thing, and especially when it's witchcraft right now. There's a big reason yeah. for that. We've had a bunch of people on this call that may have a negative emotion and those little beings would love to mm, party with you okay. so <laughs> i don't want that happening to Thank anyone you. right yeah. awesome. but destiny is going to live her destiny and no one's going to stop her and that's the big message right now so mm -hmm. you can write that down destiny i'm going to live out my dreams my destiny no one can stop me and post it on the refrigerator, carry it in your pocketbook, whatever, okay? Read it a lot out loud. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very empowering to have messages around you like that, all right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And your yes. name is perfect. Thank you so much. You have a perfect name for, you know, what you're going through, if you think about it. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to be the catalyst <laughs> for the rest of your family 
So this will stop this year. Okay. Thank so you, if you if you can, yes. Destiny, um, get a session with me soon so we can get rid of that garbage and uh, don't answer your phone or whatever when we do it because <laughs> they're going to feel it and they're going to wonder what happened to their lives. <laughs> okay, awesome, Destiny. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Yep, you're welcome. All right, let's go to, oops. <laughs> Destiny, oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, so I know that uh, Deborah, Deborah, yeah, Deborah had a question. Um, she says, I think I have some blockages around self doubt and moving forward. Can you clear that? Yeah. Um, are they on the web? <clears throat> what do you mean? They've taped They're in the on, chat. Okay. In the chat. So, um, yeah, that was Deborah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. She has blockages around self-doubt and moving forward, okay? So with Deborah here, I'm gonna tap in. It has something to do with your emotional heart. Um, so your heart chakra is blocked. There's a like a fear and a deep grief, sorrow. Um, you came to some conclusion. Mm. You can let me know when this resonates because this is what I'm getting for you. Um, yeah, so something happened that kind of like broke your heart somewhere. And that, that has been the big problem with you going forward in anything, okay? And, and you might not feel it anymore, but it's subconsciously draining you, draining your heart, draining your emotional um, self-worth you know so it may have been a bad relationship she said yes about five years ago yeah see so um, was that a relationship with you know like a partner and it didn't work out they broke your heart and you're still connected to them by cords and things um, something like that um yeah i do a lot of work with that stuff um so for deborah um and anybody else who might be experiencing yeah, and don't that. even know it you know yeah um okay yes yeah, still together okay so you believe something that wasn't true and it shocked your body so it closed your heart up a little bit and you're afraid to take a chance. You're maybe afraid to move forward with this relationship or any relationship. So, um, yeah, drama in the family somewhere I'm sensing. But anyway, let's um, go to the heart chakra of um, Deborah right now and all of us. OK, I'm just going to go into the heart. Yeah, actually, there's a couple people in the heart. I see a, a figure actually kicking. So it's like either you've been kicked to the curb or you kick somebody to the curb um, in a relationship. It might have been one before this, whatever. But anyway, going into your heart right now, we're going into the back. I'm going to open up that little door. I'm going to pull out all that heavy energy, the struggle, the struggle. There's lots of struggle from your past. You struggled along. You dealt with it. You worried about it. Okay, so we're going to clear that out that I can do right now. And then I'm going to send in a blast of love and light into there. We're going to transmute all that fear, all the guilt, all the shame, all the grief, all the blame and let you know you're not a target, okay? And so, are you willing to let go and um, forgive right now? If not, you gotta make a conscious choice to stay or go, it's up to you. No one can make it for you. 
So close your eyes right now. Put your hand on your heart. We're going to open up that heart space right now. As wide as possible for you at this moment. There's still a couple little beings in there floating around in your heart. So that will take a um, session. All right. But anyway, today we're going to bring in some loving pink energy, white and some yellow and gold into your heart to begin to clear that heaviness out of there. And then allow yourself to love again, to feel love, to allow real love. What is real love for you? And then ask yourself a great question. Is this the relationship that I want to be in for the rest of my life? Yes or no? And you'll get your answer real quick. There won't be any thinking about it. So that is um, working right now. It's going to continue working for a couple days. And then allowing yourself to mm, come back into your own power. All right. Embody your body. Come back into your own state of power, empowerment, where you make the choice now. All right. Um, yeah. And I'm going to clear some of your mother, motherly energy around you. That's not good. I'm going to put her back over on another side and cut them cords because I can do that. I'm allowed to do that right now. Yeah. And seal up them little portals where the cords were hooked into your head. And um, there's a lot of self-denial where you're denying yourself the life of your dreams. Why? And there's a lot of tears. So if you start to cry, <clears throat> let them flow. All right. Um, go out for a little while. If there's sun where you are and get some sun on you, um, yeah, get grounded into the earth. And while you're out there, if there's a tree, try and put your hands on that tree and get some, you know, earth energy and life force energy back into you and allow you to move forward. I'm going to ask the angels to come and help you to move forward. In whatever way is um, predestined for you. And you won't go backwards. You're going to go forward because the planet that's coming in is Mars. And it's going to move. It's going to move quickly. It's asking all of us to move quickly and do it now. Do it now is the energy. So how are you feeling, Deborah, and everybody else? <coughs> Good. Lots to lots coming up for sure. Yeah. And and I'm like seeing it like I'm sitting here. My eyes are wide open, but I can see it. Mm -hmm. um, very Sweet. intuitive. <laughs> we have like a thinner layer now. So yeah. you can really be connected to the cosmics, the cosmos, God, angels, Mother Mary, your deities, your guides, your angels, whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah. So Deborah so says you're doing great. Thanks. Wonderful. So I want to, um, you know, congratulate you for calling in and raising your hand and all that because it was your time to get rid of some of that garbage. It's heavy, you know. Mm -hmm, for sure. And us women, we all have that little problem where we carry it. <laughs> yes, for too long. Yes. Yeah, um, we love. We just love everybody. Yeah. So we're going to go back to the phone lines or whatever you want to call it here. We're going to go to Gurjeet. You have your hand raised, Gurjeet. I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. Or you can unmute yourself. There you go. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hi, Arlenian. Hi, Alara. 
Hi. Uh, Hello. I have uh, something that I'm really being troubled with nowadays. And it's like I get nightmares at night and I don't know what's going on. So could we look into that and help clear that energy which is causing the nightmares? Yeah, so um, entities. Hmm. Do you live in an apartment? No, not an apartment. I live in a house. Okay. For a couple nights, I want you to try something. Sleep somewhere else. Okay. Okay, for a reason. I want you to test this, right? And um, see if you have the nightmares in a different room. All right? And if okay. it's only in that one room. Because then you know that there was an energy left there from somebody else. It's really wild how this works. It's just the same if you buy a house and all of a sudden something's happening. You want to know why. It's an energy that was left there. But you've been there for a while though, right, Gurjeet? Mm -hmm. I've been there for a while and this has started recently. It's okay. uh, like uh, a week or so, I would say. <laughs> all right. Um, <clears throat> One cure, if you need to sleep in that room and you refuse to move for a couple nights, I would put um, salt water under the bed. Mm. And that will start sucking up some of that negative stuff. Also, what are you listening to? What are you watching? Right. Also, what kind of environment is around you, the neighbors? Um, Cell phone also, power. also, can I just add, if you yep. if you have a mirror in your bedroom, cover that up at night before you go to sleep. There's no mirror, and I don't listen to anything that's frightening at night. In fact, I meditate and then I go to sleep. And okay. uh, this uh, salt water that you suggested should we put it on the side table? I'd put it under the bed where you're sleeping. Where you're gonna sleep? Under the bed. Oh, I see. All right. Yeah, there's a there's a reason. I would leave it there for a week then take it out in outside garbage bag, um, dump it in there and then redo it again. All right. And if you're going to sleep in that room, see if the, um, nightmares dispel. So after this call, you can set that up, like put the salt under there and also, you know, run, um, like a track, you know, that is upbeat, you know what I mean? Like something so upbeat before bed. So something high vibrational, play something yeah, like, high vibrational. Yeah, you know. Okay. Um, All right, that can be done. Yeah. I know. Or I even even that. bells or chimes or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. I'll, so let help. me see. Let me see something. Okay. So. So I just um, want to just I, I want to make sure Gurdjieff gets this part. It's like when you dump that salt water, do not dump it inside your house or on your property. Dump it outside somewhere. Okay. In the garbage okay. bag. Yeah. Yes. In a but garbage even, bag. Like even the toilet is not a good place to dump the water. No. 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 Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Not not in your pipes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely not. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for saying that, Alara, because yeah, we know that because we're wiser. We we learned this, but yeah, just put it in the garbage bag outside and into your garbage can and let it go to the dump. So what you're doing is you're dumping all that negative story when you're sleeping. Because what happens when we're sleeping, we travel from what I hear. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you're in a battle in your sleep and you're battling spirits and, um, you know, you need to close that door to that. Mm -hmm. All right. But like I said, we're all at a thinner layer right now. Um, during this time. So you can be connected to um, dreams, which are gonna be more vivid, okay? Some people will get the nightmares like this woman here, and other people are getting message dreams. So, you know, take a note of your dreams. So if you're being chased in your dream or there's some really ugly looking entity um, and it wakes you up to fear, when you wake up from that dream, if it's negative like that, I learned to say, I cancel that dream I just had about, and I name what it is, all right? And I'm very direct about that, okay? And then I will go, and if I'm awake from it, I'll put on some dance music, 
so my mind is not even thinking about it anymore and I'll wait a couple hours before I lay back down, right? Um, so we all have to deal with different things, but this this um, woman here, I sense to call on Mother Mary for you. That will help. Thank you. And I have just one question. I don't want to appear silly, but I just thought, can I dump the water in the garden outside? Like, no. Uh, no, 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 not in your own okay. garden, no. No, okay. you're going to put it no, in a know. garbage a garbage bag outside in the garbage can only. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Thank you, Gurjeet. And then Good we want to hear we want to hear how she's doing. She can connect with you, Alara. And yeah, let me, let me know how you're doing in a couple of weeks. Okay, I will. Thank you so much. Good. Thank you. All right, uh, I'm just gonna take one more question right now and, and we'll come back, but let me just uh, see if we can take, um, there's a question here from, one second, oh my goodness, there's lots. Jillian, Jillian, is, she's saying she's looking to purchase a home. When would be a good time? It's in the chat. Okay, um, right now, all right, we know with the finances right now, um, everything's going down in price. Okay. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about your house value if you own one right now. Okay. Um, it will go back up. It, that's the way the market goes. But right now we're in the crisis. So you know that the homes are not selling, selling, right? So if you can find a home right now, you know, check the prices out. Yeah, it's but, a good time to buy. It's not a good yeah. time to sell. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to move yet. Okay. So, yeah, like selling. You could sell to a lair, but, you know, you lose a little money maybe. Um, mm -hmm. There are a couple little things you can do with that, too, to make it sell better. But anyway, um, even in a crisis, uh, you can rent it out, too. People need a place to go. Um, and they won't mind paying, you know, different rents or whatever, as long as it's not outrageous. Um, but for the seller's market will probably see that go up you know towards the end of the year for sellers but right now it's it might be a great buying market for yeah. cars as well i'm seeing cars 45 percent off and i'm like really <laughs> you know so uh, i'm like yeah you know it's a good time to maybe you know look into the prices of homes and um your dream home might be available now if you have the money put aside and um you know make a deal with the uh for sale by owner a lot of people will be desperate for sale by owner might be the hot market right now right i want to get rid of this house i'll take anything for it i gotta go blah 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 so buy into that right and see what happens because i'm i really feel that right now it's a great time to buy a house mm -hmm. or a car mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good question, Julian. Thank you. I like that question. Yeah. Um, and then Summer says, I realized in this moment, old past lives, grief, pain, and fear surfaced for me. Any advice how to clear this and stop the repetitiveness? I, I'm assuming that means. Yeah. So, like, the old stuff is going to come up because the energy that is coming through right now. Um, I'm surrounded by angels and beings all around me right now, and everybody's getting touched in a different way. Um, so if you are being like um, connected to the ancestry line, um, family lineages, beliefs, all that, and it's kind of freezing you up and you, you're stuck because, you know, all you can do is what they did. All you can think is what they thought. And so, that's why we want to get you disconnected from all that, right? Rather it be a big bundle of things or one or two things. Um, it may take a couple weeks. It may take six months. But I, when I was doing this, Alara and everybody, I was like, I don't care if it takes six months. I got to get rid of this issue. And I worked on it. And here I am sharing, you know, the rest of my gifts with people. But um, for this woman here, this person here, I do sense there is a male energy hanging out mm. and it's a dad or a grandpa mm. and, and they're trying to give instructions into the brain like you should do this and 
this is the only way it's going to work. And I can hear the voice saying, I'm like, I want to say, shut up and just go, you know, relax. They, this person's got it. They can handle it themselves. It's their own life, right? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some of these yeah. being, some of these beings are um like not liking that because they love that control. So if this person can um buy into that, you know, um power inside of them and shift, mm -hmm. allow yourself to shift from what they've been doing. Um, all right. Because my dad used to do that. My mom used to do that. My grandma believed that. And and we find ourselves doing it too. And and the income my dad made, I can't surpass that. You know, so we want to get rid of all that, all their stuff, because they were living out their dream, their purpose, their beliefs. And now we're a different person. And we need to get rid of those contracts, the vows, the beliefs, the attachments, including the DNA. Because it, when you're in your mom's womb, you know, you, you are affected by everything she thinks, eats, smells, wears, says, everything. Mm -hmm. And then when we're born, you know, we come out of this beautiful energy and then we're into this loud noise and, you know. <laughs> and so by the time we're at the age we're at now, you know, we are programmed almost like a computer. So what we are all trying to do is deprogram that stuff, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Easy way to say it. And then unplug from it and plug in yeah. to the right, the right vibration and frequency for us in each area of our lives, which is your finances, your health, and your relationships. Those are the three areas. Mm -hmm. Right? Awesome. Good. So, um, so... Summer, hopefully that helped. Let us know. And stay tuned for the, uh, the process. Um, Summer says, wow, thank you so very much. I want to get rid of all of that, 100%. <laughs> Should I send yeah. this being to the light? Well, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Yeah. They just <laughs> wanted to hang out and be a father figure and say, let me help you because I went through something like that. And this is what I did. It's mm. kind of, you know, they're, they're thinking they're helping you, but then you feel drained. Yeah. And yeah. You and can, you you can help yourself. You know, Summer. Right. Exactly. I had a grandma that did that to me. <laughs> awesome. Good. All right. So I want to take a few minutes and talk about the special offer. It's brand new packages that you have for us. And then we'll yeah. uh, see how we're doing time wise. Um, minimum there. so for, my camera down so okay. those of you who are on the live page you can just click on special offer and those of you who are not you can go to alara.at forward slash show forward slash marlena four as m-a-r-l-e-n-e-a four so marlena there's three packages here package a b and c oh sorry four packages here package a b c and d um do you want to talk about them yeah um wow what i what I did for everyone now because of this virus thing is I created that package D and kept the price down so that everybody can at least get that support if nothing else. Um, but every package will come with, um, you know, the package D as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I separated D by itself so that other people can just say, I can get that, you know. So anyway, um, for package A, um, what, we, what we have here is the first thing that we are going to be doing is clearing out the negative energy. Um, a lot of people call it bad luck, okay, um, and replace it with the cosmic blessings in all forms. So that covers every part of your life, and it will help with, like, you know, the black magic, evil eye, witchcraft, that kind of stuff. Package A will do some of that work, you know, because I'm working with the person as if I'm right there. So each one of these tracks is like we're having a session. Um, so after and so, we hear, and so just, just tell uh, everybody how many tracks are there, you know? Yeah. Um, let me see now. Uh, for Package A, anyway, we've got the clearing, then the blessing one, and then we have a protection um, spray when I'm trying to, I can't even count them all there. 
I know, right? I think there's like 10, maybe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, maybe nine anyway. But you're going to have, um, with package A, it covers like your money, your health, um, your finances, uh, your relationships, and your gemstones. So we can also purify your gemstones, uh, your crystals. We're going to clear your auric field and um, your chakra system. So package A is really um, creating a new you all right and empowering you okay and then b what we did was we come up with um love clearings health clearings and money clearings added on to the next thing so um we go through your healing the core wounds on every level all right then after we do that we do a reboot so we got to reboot every area of your life that was weakened by those negative experiences then we take a miracle bath. So we're freeing up your mind, your spirit, your energy centers so that you can have a better experience. Then we're going to connect you back to spirit, God, source, um, removing your block to that connection and getting you plugged back in. And then giving you the awareness is the next track. Um, and then getting you into um, unlimited resources where you eliminate struggle, the fear, competition, worry, hoarding, anxiety, uh, divine order. So we're going to get you into the right mindset for miracles and magic to start happening for you. Then we go into connecting into beyond expectation. So the universe can start blessing you in big ways. Okay. So you want to really flow with this and then just be is the next one where you're going to have the power to stand up and stake your claim exactly what you want and it will start manifesting time wasters we don't want to be that um so we're going to opt out of the matrix of time we're going to become one with the right now at this moment that we're in not yesterday not tomorrow right now that brings us empowerment and the last track on this one is portal of grace so we're going to find out what it really feels like to be loved by God's source. Okay. And then you won't doubt anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so package A and B, if you get B, you get A and B and D, mm -hmm. which is really awesome. And then C, if you get a session with me, you're going to get all of them. A, B, C, D. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so yeah. I and I love it. And then D. How long is the session with you? Well, it can run between, it will say 30 when you sign up, but it's usually, you know, between 30 minutes and an hour. Mm -hmm. yeah. So depending, if I have another one right behind you, you know, I try to not do that, but it's not up to me. Mm -hmm. um, so we can have the right time with each person. Uh, with that session, we can work on whatever, okay, whatever it is, all right, because it's private and no one is going to know your name or you know what you did or anything like that okay we're just going to know about the wonderful testimonial that you come up with and share with us um that's that's my you know intention is to get everybody beyond this limitation mm -hmm. that we all were programmed into now package d is really awesome it has five tracks um the first one uh we're going to clear the fear and return to peace for 2020 and beyond right <clears throat> anxiety is going to go and all the underlying causes and this will go from the time we we're in the womb or even before that if need to be all the way to our future so we're going to clear out that fear um raising our vibration okay and then the second track uh, relax, release, and flow. You're going to become magnetic to positive energy. Okay, I'm plugging from all the negative chaos. Um, and wear headphones for that one. Uh, the next one, all of us need a uh, process to reduce the stress. Okay, <laughs> and um, bring in the energy of the healing sun. So, we're going to clear out the mental, physical, and environmental stress that we're all in. And yes, that does cover the 5G. Um, the two newer tracks um, boost your immune system. And number five track is 
the divine virus cleanse. So can you see how powerful that just package D is? Getting rid of fear and stress mm -hmm. and then yeah. helping the immune system and clearing out that virus energy. Absolutely. <laughs> yep, definitely. <laughs> so good. Thank you. So all of those packages are available at alara.at forward slash show forward slash Marlena four. So you definitely want to take a, take a look at them, choose your package, but definitely if you get a chance to work with Marlena, you know, uh, it's, it's a great thing to do because she's really powerful. She goes deep and, you know, like I said, uh, you know, even though it says 30 minutes, but it's usually ends up being more. So mm -hmm. just know that Marlena always goes above and beyond what she promises. So just know that you have, um, it's a great idea if you can, you know, get that session with, with Marlena. Um, so Marlena, do you want to do a process now or do you want to take some more questions? Um, yeah, we'll take a few more questions because that's coming out here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I'm going to, I'm playing around with this little um, thing for Zoom. I'm trying to enlarge it again. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to phone number ending in 789. I'm going to go ahead and try to unmute you. Yep. There you go. Hello. Phone number ending in 789. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Sorry, hi. Uh, <laughs> I, had it, I had it on mute. No worries. Hi, hi Alara. Hi, Marlene. How are you guys? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. This is my thing. My cat, he sleeps with me, like by my feet, but he's really shaking in the night, like really crying sometimes like shivering kind of thing. So I was wondering, is he taking my energy? Is something not right in that room? Because I've never seen that before in two years that I had him. Okay, so it's like just starting now recently during the virus? Yeah, like about, uh, no, before the virus, but okay. it's become more now. It's more now, yeah. Okay, um, yeah. With a cat, um a cat will suck up <clears throat> people's negative energy and then mm. it will jump off your lap and go take a bath because it can't take anymore okay so that's what a cat does a dog will growl and not enter a spot if it's got mm. a disease or something um it's different a cat will their eyes will light up you know they start acting up but anyway um yeah, so try, um, let me see, the cat, the cat definitely is sensing energy in the atmosphere. And yeah, because, yeah, they keep, I have three of them, so they keep looking at the door, then they all jump on me. <laughs> yeah, so what door yeah. are they looking at? At the entrance door. This okay. is in the daytime. In the daytime, yeah. Uh huh. All right. So they see what you can't see. Ah. Oh. Okay. So if okay. you have, if you have, um, what do you call that? Um, sage. Yes. Sage the door inside and out. Do not be embarrassed by the neighbors. Okay. okay. Ring a bell. Okay. Ring a bell. All right. Okay. These these are coming, and then in your bedroom, okay, you yeah. you want to get the salt water, um, unless okay, it's, unless it's right directly in the north, you don't want that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is. My bed is facing the north. Yeah. No, I mean the bedroom. So it should the bedroom itself, if it's in a direct north. Uh, no, it's uh, not. All right. No, it's not. Yeah. Okay. But can you from your bed see the front door of your house? No. No. All right. So I would sage my house. I really would. And then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and ring a bell and then let us know how the cats are acting after that. Um, okay. Yeah. Maybe put the cats in a room while you're saging so they don't have to smell that because it may. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. And then um yeah. 
yeah, let us know how you're doing. You're not alone, you know, because these beings want to see whose house we can come in, right? And we're light workers, so they don't want to really come in. They just want to hang out and see what we're up to. <laughs> they're, yeah. drawn, they're drawn yeah. to the light. They're like the bugs. The bugs are drawn to the light. And they're bugs is yeah. what I feel like. These are bugs, these energies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maya Lass. I appreciate it. Thank you, Alara. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to go to phone number ending in 770. Hello, I'm going to unmute you. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, you know what? Uh, my question previously, uh, honestly, was about anger, mm -hmm. but I changed it. <laughs> uh -huh. Cool. And um, it's really about um, my intention of going to Australia. So it, it kind of got uh, delayed because of the whole Corona thing. Yeah. And I'm from New York and I do not want to stay here. Mm. So, um, <laughs> yeah. um, I, I, yeah, I actually went all the way upstate to get away from the city. Good girl. And so, <laughs> right. And so I'm like, I'm wondering, okay, when am I going to leave to Australia? Cause the next semester starts in July. And I'm not sure if that's actually going to actually happen. Okay. So, um, so, so I can, mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you like relax into the process? I know it's hard and I'm glad you went. To upstate. <laughs> I'm glad you went to upstate um, New York away from the main city right now at this moment. And you don't want to be um, traveling right now. Okay. Definitely right not so i would wait it out to you know like summer and then see how it looks but right now um you're safe you know what i mean you're away from all that um i used to live in upstate new york myself so i know um the energy there is way different than downstate as it is and then the chaos there is too much australia's lockdown new york city is locked down so when you moved your body physically up you can move around a little freer, <laughs> right. depending on right. where you okay. are. Um, so you have the freedom. See, you were guided to shift upward, you know? So um, I'm just looking at like June, July. Okay, which is right, right, right around um, when classes start. Okay. okay. Yeah, that so sounds June, good. July may, may clear up for everyone. Um, and the airline prices will be very reasonable. Right, which is, I'm ha which is what I'm happy about. <laughs> yeah, so wonderful. So what was your name, honey? Diana, Diana. Diana I'm, in, so I'm, in, I'm in Ithaca. Oh, you're, okay, wonderful, yeah. Right, would oh. you think I'll, I'll, do you think, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I said I drove through there um, once, anyway. Let me just remove <laughs> that thing. <laughs> See, we got to get rid of the mentality. Do you think, all right, what does your heart say? Your heart says yes, doesn't it? We don't need to yes. ask a question. There you go. So let's amplify that yes. And yeah, spinning the energy. Ooh. Yes, a yes, a yes, a yes, a yes around you. Like a tornado energy of a yes. So it opens Oh, yeah, right I feel up. it. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking I'm getting right red. at you. Right, I'm looking right at you. So, um, yeah, the energy is going to continue doing that and spiraling up. Um, yeah, shifting your awareness to greater possibilities than um, what you even expected or intended is what I'm getting. So, wonderful work for you. <laughs> Thank you. It would, but but because Ithaca is a small town. Do you think I'll have the chance at least getting a, a little small job either at the hospital or the medical or the clinic? I mean, I know the, the Corona is not really that, it's only, there's only 17 people that have it in town. So, and we're a couple of thousand, more than a couple of thousand here. Yeah, so, make a phone call and, and inquire. Why not? Also, um, you know, caregivers. Um, oh, okay. Going to private homes. They're probably desperate right now. 
You know, okay. some elderly okay. people that can't do anything might even say, can you please go to the store for me? Right? Okay. Yeah, I love doing that. Okay. Yeah, there you I go. never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're Dad. welcome. Thank you, Diana. Good, All good, right. good. Thank you. You're welcome. And good luck going to Australia. Yay, that's exciting. <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited. Okay. Yeah, I will be too. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Wow. Um, okay. So we, Odile in, oh, had a question in the chat. I have a feeling I will get a new job in Switzerland in May. Can you give me your insight on this, please? Mm. You might not be able to travel to Switzerland in May, but <laughs> I don't think the flights will be running yet in May in Europe. Maybe June. See an opening um, somewhere else, believe it or not. It will start showing up for this person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So, be, so Odile, basically what Marlene is saying is be open to something else other than Switzerland. So Switzerland and maybe something else, right? Yeah, something else is coming through that's better. Um, better quality. Better um, piss picture-esque is a word coming picture-esque so looking at the environment they're also wanting to put you in a beautiful blissful environment where when you are there you'll just be in awe and you'll feel comfortable there because we all have sometimes like oh i'd love to go here or there and then you end up going somewhere else and when you do this somewhere else, you're like, oh my God, this energy here is great, you know? So that's that's what happens to us. So we, we don't get disappointed anymore. We're like, lead me in that direction. And then you might start seeing pamphlets or getting emails about a certain place. So if you start seeing that, it's the angel sending it to you. That'll make sense. Mm -hmm. And it may be right outside of there, you know? So Odile is saying, could it be New Zealand? That is definitely a higher vibration place for sure. New Zealand, better than Switzerland for sure. Yeah. And, and well, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting exact Pacific for it. Um, they're saying it's going to show up. It's going to show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just give be us, open give to us it. Time. They're saying yeah. give us time. And, and start looking for the angels, you know, sending your brochures, emails, whatever of a place and all of a sudden you'll say that's it i gotta check that place out it doesn't you know it keeps coming it won't stop <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah and see how it feels to you you know does it feel light does it feel expansive does it feel you know fun yeah you can ask you know in meditation or prayer and say um show me show me exactly where i am headed mm -hmm. and then just relax and all of a sudden it'll start showing up yeah. it's so simple <laughs> and we can all do that yeah. about anything right yeah yep mm -hmm. yeah exactly good thank you for that Odile. all right marlena um do you want to do the process yeah let me get that ready to go um anybody driving anywhere i would say you really shouldn't be unless you're going to grocery store doctors or to take care of your family um kind of like pull over or listen to this later because mm -hmm. we're going to go um, for probably about 12 minutes, um, we're going to clear fear. We're going to clear trauma. We're going to clear the 5G. Um, yeah. And then we're going to um, be also boosting up our immune system. So we want to be really engaged here. So here we go. Okay, everyone. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. And I also pray that anybody with pain or sickness, it will disintegrate during this there we go um, this process will be dealing with the emotional trauma that we are facing right now clearing it healing it and transmuting it and at the same time we will be upgrading our root chakra so that we can be balanced and feeling 
harmony and peace and strength. Creator of all that is, I am calling upon you and your mighty healing power. Right now during this trauma of the virus, I am calling upon your healing power for all that are listening right now that you would clear, heal, and transmute all the collective energy stored up fear, anxiety, worry, and concern. Take this all and pour out your healing upon each and every one of us now, clearing out our homes, our space, everything that is in, on, and around us now. Clearing our mind, clearing our heart, clearing our neck, back, shoulders, arms, hands, nervous system, reset now. Chakras, reset, now, washing down the entire body, all the way to the tips of our toes, of all the collective energy, emotions, feelings, thoughts, perceptions, and all those pent up emotions from the past traumas ancestral experiences as well. Clearing all the fear of catching the virus, fear of getting sick, all the trauma that our bodies have received since the beginning of this situation up to now and the future. Calling on the angels assigned to bring sense of peace, security, love, stability, rejuvenating the body, mind, soul, and spirit, reducing the amount of stress energy in, on, and around us now. Fear, leave now. Worry, leave now. Stress, leave now. Clearing all mental chatter, conversations, Memories of things you heard, things you saw, clearing it out now, relaxing the brain, balancing the brain, bringing back harmony 
balance, peace, high vibrational thoughts, regenerate now. Any part of you resisting or blocking, be cleared now and allow. Allow yourself to relax, clearing all mind control, clearing all EMF energies, negative voices, negative sounds, negative vibrations, negative frequencies. We disconnect them now. We unplug ourselves from that and we plug ourselves in to God's source and we ground our energy into a balanced Mother Earth. Neutral, powerful, engaged in high vibrational energies. We are cocooned in love, safe, secure, free. Clearing all shock energy, feeling threatened, clear now, you are not welcome here, we resist you, setting up an energetic block to all other people's energies and vibrations that do not match with love peace, joy, harmony, bliss, empowerment. Calling on divine love and light. Putting us in a beautiful, energetic, golden bubble. surrounding our entire being, wherever we go, whatever we do, we remain safe, present, fully empowered, mentally stable, peaceful, harmonious, secure, healthy, joyful, abundant, favored, worthy, powerful, strong, radiant, vibrant, available for service. into the vibration. I'm going to go deeper now. Divine love and light. Empowered now. Clearing deeper now, removing all the virus energy, disconnecting from it now.
into the deep, deep, deeper, deeper, deeper. The divine mastermind is at work now. Clearing all unconscious fears and conscious fears. Raising up your emotional vibration. So it matches with source, perfect peace, harmony, and bliss. Love and light fill us now. Divine healing light heal us now. Divine loving light love us now. We choose. Of love. I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For this divine healing, clearing, blessing, which will go with us into the future. And so it is done now. Amazing. Ooh. Wow. How is everybody? I see how Alara is. The energy is moving. <laughs> yeah, I've been yawning through the whole thing. Yeah, you know what my mind was saying? Giggles, giggles, giggles. Give Alara giggles. Give her back her giggles. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, but you will. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I first started doing these shows years ago, I used to, um, you know, have a giggling personality. And I remember somebody, one of the speakers had said to me that that was unprofessional. So then I, you know, I stopped. <laughs> Joy is unprofessional. Yeah, oh, it was unprofessional. Really? I was like, okay. <laughs> so, you know, just, yeah. Joy, you don't want to be near me then. No, oh. that's for sure. So I just wanted to share what Summer wrote in the chat. She's just, she, she just said, just wanted to share that I immediately asked Archangel Michael and the angels to help me escort this being out of my aura. And I saw a corridor of angels sending him home. I hope this was not my wishful thinking, but I literally saw this happening. This energy was so heavy and for so long in my field. That's awesome, Summer. Awesome. No, Thank it's, you. It's, it's gone. It, you know, the intention between you and I, um, you know, sent it off to its next place, okay? Yeah, um, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. Not, not wishful thinking, a reality, okay? Right, exactly. I um, don't play around. <laughs> I so how's everybody it, doing? Yeah. yeah, so just type in the chat how you're all doing after that wonderful, powerful process. Um, I was yawning through the whole thing. I mean, it was, like, ridiculous. So that's how it, the energy was moving, like, crazy, right? <laughs> and joy everyone is not unprofessional in any way yeah. it will bring you money mm. money money follows joy okay if you come in my house and you don't laugh you will in a few minutes because <laughs> nice so summer says i felt the joy i felt the joy even the sun came out so nice 
Diana Wonderful. says, oh my God, it was really good. Good. I'm so glad. Yeah, you, you, it. Won't gain, you won't gain any weight from that really good tasting energy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, so see, even I, I'm looking at the chat and I see, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> so that is professional joy. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, so just be, be, be willing to receive, be open to receiving and, um, you know, go back and listen to this again if you, if you would like. There was so much information at the beginning as well when we talked a lot about the feng shui, but there's a lot of information in this call and that wonderful process. So Julie, Julie says, grateful to hear such a beautiful speaker on such a beautiful day. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm, you know, I'm grateful to be here. Um, and, you know, as I'm sitting here, I started getting really hot. So that means there's more angels that showed up. Um, and for the sweet soul that feels like they're blocked and can't feel the beautiful energy, the energy is working anyway. It's just that you're not open to, you know, feeling it totally. All right. Mm -hmm. You're afraid of it. You're afraid of change. Um, so it's always good to um, grab, you know, a session. And then you get all the, you know, the help that you're going to need to break that down. So the fear will leave because um, there's fear of change, you know, and then there's fear of um, actually um, seeing the result. You know, mm -hmm. I want that car, but, you know, and then we have all these excuses. I'd love that job, but then I got to see a new boss. I got to meet new people. I got to make new friends. So when you have that in your subconscious mind, and you're saying, why won't they hire me? That's why. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you're, you're stopping it by having the fear of meeting new people, changing new jobs. So it, it's got to be spoken out of your mouth. Like, I'm not afraid of meeting new people. And you'll see a breakthrough when you start doing that. Like, Alara knows, write it down. My yeah. goal is, my intention is, and positive sayings around your home and then right? not just write it down speak it speak it out loud yeah exactly you your voice is the one that your body's going to listen to your angels are waiting for you to speak you know the yes. universe God. Speak it, sing it you know that kind of You're, thing yeah you are really powerful and and like i said earlier we were programmed to like be, you know, down, sit down, be quiet, don't talk, don't move, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and you got a little kid and they're like, ah, and they're saying to the kid, be quiet or I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> I'm like, they're crying for some reason. Why don't you hug them? You know, uh, right? It's such a weird saying, be quiet or I'll give you something to cry about. That is so, it's yeah. like, oh my God. And that's kind of what they did to us, right? You know, yeah. just pushed us down. You just be quiet. Don't move. Uh, you know, don't run. <laughs> yeah. And we've and all done kids, it, but you know, and, yeah. And the kids are like, let me out of here. I can't wait till I'm 18. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what we're all saying right now. Let me out of here. I'm in quarantine. You know? So in the quarantine mode that we're in, you know, it's time to get creative and just get in joy back. Get your joy back. I don't care what it takes. Put on the disco music right exactly. i don't care if the neighbors i don't care if the neighbors don't like it i turn i'll turn the disco radio on outside yeah and and just let that vibration get out into my entire neighborhood um mm -hmm. i lucked out now um i did a lot of energy work and the crazy um house next door to me that was for several years no matter who moved into it was um doing drugs or something like that and I was told the story and I said, this is going to stop. And I went outside and I just did some energy work over and over. I did it in here. I started playing tracks. I went over there and sprinkled salt and they, they just moved right out. <laughs> and now I got the quietest Spanish couple. Mm -hmm. nice. I don't even know they're there. Yeah. And now that energy, the entities are gone. And you know what happened to Lara in the summer? A lightning strike came down <laughs> and just went from one top part of this one tree in that yard right to the ground. Mm -hmm. I said, 
that was lightning striking the entities mm. from what the work I was doing. And um, I said, they got rid of them because right after that, those people scram. Nice. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's the power that we have when we set the right intention. Right now, anyone, I got to share this, anybody who has anger, unforgiveness, any of that stuff, including against yourself, please release it. Right. Okay. Especially this year because of what's going on. Right. So that you will not get caught up in any of this violence and, you know, the sickness. Yeah. Do the inner work, raise your vibration, mm -hmm. meditate if you can, but do some sort of spiritual practice every day, you know, find the joy, be playful, go out in nature. You know, I'm lucky I have, <clears throat> I have Neo and, uh, and now mm -hmm. the, 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 the fish, the fish and the shrimp the and the, that yeah. keep me entertained. <laughs> right. And, um, yeah, so, um, I, I truly believe that this year we are not quarantined. We are in the classroom mm -hmm. of the cosmos and they're teaching us right now. And we are all to be studying. And I um, had written down like um, the other night really quickly, like, um, you know, everybody, like everybody's um, sign. All right. So, um, just give me a second so I can run through them so everybody can kind of like see them. They're only like a couple words, but for people born under Aries, um, you're being asked to study, be patient. Taurus is um, blessings, okay? Study and help others. Gemini, you are to do your um, spiritual work, okay? This is all coming from my meditation, all right? Um, yeah, Gemini, do your spiritual work, help others, remain positive, okay? Because you may have some ups and downs, that's why it's being said. Um, for Cancer, um, yeah, knowledge, share, helping, mm -hmm. um, be loving, patient, um, your finances, you know, um, things like that, you're going to work on that. Enhance your intuition. Jeez, I don't even have to do that, it keeps coming. Um, Leo, um, this is going to be like very lucky um, work. Um, parents are going to be involved. Be um, responsible with your health and watch your work relations. So you may have a couple, you know, um, tips at work because of the energy going on. Um, <clears throat> Virgo saying, don't worry, organize and study. We're all being told to study. <clears throat> be surrounded by children. Be patient. Your relationships will be okay. All right, Libra. Um, yeah, something about like your partners, okay? Be patient in your relationships and study, okay? So if your relationship starts arguing, let them argue and vent. That's the way I take it now. Um, yeah, here we go. Scorpios, um, you're like, so, yeah, suppress your, your ambitions, but. It's time to get ambitious, organize uh, your work, be patient with family. Relationships will be peaceful. Sagittarius, don't allow your um, personality to be ruined, okay? Um, you're powerful, all right? Connect with God's source and um, be patient with your family. Capricorn is um, keep a low profile, mm. right? Because it's very complex energy for you. I'm giving you this for the whole year. Um, yeah, remain spiritual and positive. Uh, do some artist work, creativity. Aquarius, remain positive. Um, peace at home. Rest and connect with your family at home. And the lovely sign <laughs> of um, Pisces, mm -hmm. which is my daughter as well, Alara. Mm -hmm. um, learn. You ready? <laughs> Always learn, learning. <laughs> learn, what else? study. Yep. Do your do your spiritual work. It's important now for your self-growth. Organize your friendships. Mm. Okay. Make plans. Okay. Find for siblings and work. Rebuild your plans. So this is your time to rebuild your plans. Organize things. 
Um, it's going to go well with, you know, like your children and you, and that's good. But there's yeah. only a couple of signs there that, you know, Capricorn, I think it was to kind of like keep a low pro profile. Yeah. yeah. You know, because other anyways. people, yeah, because <laughs> the energy that would come at Capricorn right now <laughs> might yeah. not be too good. So you just stay in your house, do your spiritual work, growth, build on your businesses, um, things like that. It's a year to study. It's a year Definitely. to come out stronger. So Which is what I'm doing. I'm studying college. a new a new new therapy thing. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But think about this as if we're all in college right now. Yeah. And awesome. we're gonna pass. We're we're working for that, you know, degree right now. Um, yeah, yeah, we're all gonna pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll all be it'll all be well. So it take this be. take this time, take this opportunity to, you know, do for you, right? Do exactly. something for you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> I'm seeing like somebody asking, I think it's Diana, <clears throat> what is her website? Mm, ask Alara. <laughs> so yeah, so I was just going to say again, so these, uh, these special offers again are available at alara.at forward slash show forward slash Marlena four. Um, so definitely take a look at those and um, see which one resonates with you, but not, not just resonates with you. It's like, you know, take this time to do that, do that work, take this time to work on yourself and, um, you know, make plans for the future, depending on, you know, who you are, what you're doing, but just, yeah, this is the time to work on yourself, go within, do the inner work, get uplifted, do the clearings, you know, and use these tools and resources that are available to you to, you know, as you move through this time, because we have time right now. So why not take advantage of it? So again, that I just put the link in the chat, but that's alara.at for slash show for slash Marlena four. There are four packages available and um, package D, you know, is like five MP3s that are going to really assist you. Um, if you can't get any of the other ones, at least get that, that will start to, 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 to move the energy and shift, you know, what you're experiencing. But definitely if you can get a, a session with Marlena, that'll be really beneficial for you. Um, and really help to clear stuff out and move you forward. So if you know if that's what you're looking for, it's it's available, right? <laughs> yeah, so, it's like wow. <laughs> so Julie, I, I'm, I'm yeah. blown away. <laughs> I know that was awesome. There was so much information on this call, so much wisdom, so many different um, tools or resources that even though you know we were speaking to one person, you know a lot of that is is applicable to anybody right so um see see you know if it works for you like you know if you know we all can put um salt water under our bed we can all do that okay so that's that's gonna be beneficial and then all the stuff all the feng shui stuff that marlena shared at the beginning that was huge so much stuff so definitely go back and watch or listen to this again i'll be putting the replay out shortly and uh, like in you know the next hour, an hour and a half or ish, it'll be on um, YouTube and the podcast. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Marlena. That was wonderful. So well, and that um, and the process was so powerful, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Somebody bought the Feng Shui package, so that's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah. I I know that works. I use it myself in here. You know. Um. It has helped me a lot. I didn't know anything about mm -hmm. Feng Shui. Yeah. And yeah. I dove deep into it. It was just brought to me. Nobody like told me this is what you need to do. Um, what happens with me is for some reason, like um, I've grown into realize it now, but um, some people get a lot of help. People will come and say, this is what works and this don't and this and that. Um, try this person. I never got that. Mm -hmm. I got seek me and you'll get the answer immediately. So that's why I am so engaged in knowing this works, um, you know, cause it was given to me, it works. Um, and I'm great at manifesting. So mm -hmm. that's why I watch what I say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and you have to. Mm -hmm. so, Jillian also said, she said, I also used your feng shui package. It really helped. Good. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll keep using it. So that's probably still available somewhere on your site. Um, yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, under the special <laughs> offers page. Yeah, for sure. Wonderful. So everybody on this call right now that's still here, 
<laughs> I know some run away and that's okay. Um, including your animals, um, your spouses, your family members, wherever they are right now. Mm -hmm. um, we're all going to do an intention right now that we're going to put them and us and wherever we are right now in the space we're in. We're going to put ourselves in a beautiful bubble. Okay, beautiful golden bubble right now. And everybody we care about, everybody that's on our heart right now, we're all going in a big, huge, golden bubble of light and love and protection. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask the angels. It's funny. An angel is sitting on top of the bubble. <laughs> I'm going to ask the angels to surround the bubble and hold hands and begin to sing. So that we are really, really surrounded with high vibrational energy. But the angels sitting on top of the bubble. Protecting us. And I ask to be oh, rejuvenated, everybody on all levels right now. Rejuvenated. Energized. Empowered is the best word today. Mm. Wow, you can feel that. It's like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that way anybody who is worrying about their loved ones, um, we just put them in a beautiful protection bubble. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was beautiful. Yeah. And, you right. know, we, we, we sometimes all need, you know, support in that way. So definitely you can do that, you know, again and again and again, you know. So I included, you know, my mom, my, my dad, my kids, all of our kids, you know, um, mm -hmm. the, our pets, you know, beautiful Neil. Yeah, you know, you know, because they're, they're a part of your family. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> yes, for sure. Like, you know, some pets like, um, you know, um, Wow, they feel everything we feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And other pets totally don't care about anything, but let's play, let's eat, take me out. Mm -hmm. But there's empathic, empathic healing pets. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they'll be the ones all around you when you're doing this energy work. For sure. Neil's usually sitting at my feet when I'm doing these calls. Mm -hmm. You know, all of my calls, you know, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if he's not, you're like, where'd he go? You know, he's off with your spouse. Exactly. Um, no, right. he was he was lying here and he was dreaming and so I had to mute myself because his you know he was barking in his dream, you know. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh, you know? <laughs> wow. Yeah. So when you know when we continue from this call in just a few minutes, um, you know, if you feel low again, come back to the call mm -hmm. and get that energy again, get the process again. Yeah, get that boost. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I'll, yep. I'll put it up as soon as I can. So not That's to worry. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly it. And anybody who has a birthday um, now or coming up, I just want to say happy birthday to you. Um, you know, <laughs> and you know what, Alara, it might be really cool if it is somebody's birthday because you're on Zoom. We can have a birthday party on here. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> they just light the candles and we'll all sing and they can blow them out. And, you know, we're more than six feet away from each other. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I love Zoom. It's great for that kind of stuff too. Isn't it? Yeah. If you want to get married on Zoom, I will see that you can do that soon. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Awesome. Oh, All right. So um, I think that was really powerful. Even, you know, just this last little blessing uh, with, with the angels. That was also really powerful. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Marlena. And thank you, everybody, for all of your questions, comments, and feedback. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and so, yeah, I'll put the replay up shortly. But definitely go back and watch or listen to it again, because there's so much information, so much energy, so many different processes that you want to take advantage of. OK? So until next time, everyone, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much again, Marlena. Thank you. Thank you. Bye all right, bye, everyone. everyone. <laughs> bye for now. Thank you.